One of the great joys in life is to take a few minutes away from the busyness and allow the silence of prayer to change your day. I pray that this happens in you and through you right now. Join me in this time of meditation. There is a thirst within me, God. Only you can satisfy it. Whenever I retreat from my busy life for just a few minutes and let myself be aware of you, I am filled with your presence and I feel a peace that is beyond description. God, I long for peace. Sometimes, though, I become so busy or so focused on something that is going on in my life that I forget your peace is always within me. And just at that moment, I remember again to become still. And I open myself to a sacred communion with you. And I experience a peace that heals me of all anxiety. In that peace, I concentrate on you. It is time to be with you, God. It is my time to feel the energy that is always with me. There is within me the ability that you gave me, God given, to center my thought and my feelings in peace so that I am not moved and controlled by outer conflicts. I find myself turning to you and as I turn to you within myself I find again that center of peace and I know that God you can set all things right. It is good to condition my mind and my heart and my life to abide in you. Jesus said, My peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Peace is not something that I have to struggle for. I know that it is your gift to me, dear God. My divine duty is to receive this peace, to accept this peace. This day brings the opportunity for me to do just that. I keep serene by knowing that you are guiding my world. I feel that my life, my mind, my body is ruled by the peace of God and you coming through me, I become a peacemaker. I recognize that I have a power to work for your peace. I realize that I have a power to become a channel through which your peace flows. And I pray right now that it is flowing through this broadcast blessing people and conditions and I pray that in this moment of the silence every individual person receives the peace that you dear God so freely offer in the silence of prayer. We trust you, God, 
and we rest in your presence. May we find peace and may we cease whatever we're doing and take time to find your peace in the silence of prayer often. May we realize that this peace is ours continuously, even in frenzied activity. We see from our human eyes a new perspective. We see beyond the appearance, and we attain permanent peace that we seek. We reach a time of stillness in prayer. The peace of God, it encircles us, infills us to renew and to harmonize every part of our lives. Peace is all-encompassing, a spiritual commodity that we can't afford to be without. We live in it. It lives in us. The peace of God embraces our body, soothes our shattered nerves, penetrates the mind and the heart, builds trust and calmness, and puts us in complete harmony with you, dear God. Your peace now takes control. Our emotions are controlled by your peace, and your peace overcomes all thoughts in human mind. Every unloving thought is cast out. Inner peace. It equips us to deal with fears, anxieties, and frustrations of life. They are nothing to you, and sometimes everything to us. We turn away from these. We focus on you your power, your authority. The surest way to have peace is to trust you completely, dear God, knowing that you are in control of everything, that you created everything and you recreate everything. We place ourselves in your hands. We release every single detail of our life to your wise and your loving management. The result is peace. The result is solutions to our problems. I ask you now again in a moment of silence to trust God completely in your life. Serenity. It is the evidence of complete trust in God. It is the outward and visible sign that a person's analysis of self is in good hands. We have nothing to be anxious about. Spiritual trust knowing that the ultimate and the eternal purposes of life, the beginnings and the ends, are dependable. 
This penetrates the mind. This penetrates the emotions. This penetrates the body with a peace that passes understanding. You are a peacemaker. The peacemakers are those whose thoughts, motives, and acts tend toward making peace within themselves and within the world. God's love calms your emotions, bringing you a new sense of peace, a new sense of security. God's love calms the emotions of the world, bringing it peace and security. God's love brings peace to your world because you are a light therein. God's love is a blanket over your entire world. And everywhere you go, you feel and they feel God's gentle power. And every person reacts from that love projected to them. In the peace and in the love of Jesus Christ, we so affirm that this is true and we say out loud, Amen. And that means, and it is so. It is so for us right now. Amen.